and welcome to day two Dose. of the lame list. Things that happen lame throughout the day and we make a list of them. Yes. And we talk about them. And today we've got like six things, five things, five or six things six. that are totally completely 100% lame. And we're going to, at the end of every video, give a shout out to somebody. Yeah, we're going to do some research and try to find some like bands. And <clears throat> today we have a comedian for you that we saw today on campus. Um, He's really great guy. But anyway, so number one on our lane list is stairs. They should die. Yeah, if stairs were alive, I would stab them. I'm just saying. Violent. Because I hate them. This one back there, do the anatomy homework, she lives on the fourth floor. And it sucks because they have to climb up three flights of stairs. There is an elevator, but it, was it takes 12 hours for the elevator to come down. And we're not that lazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that lazy. yeah, we are that lazy, <laughs> but it's really just, you know, just climb the stairs. Yeah. So number two, suburban families and their oh my goodness, I hate this. I hate fifties. White picket fence. White family with two point five children. How do you have point five children? I don't yes, understand. Have half a child. What is that like a like a? Never mind. That's kind of not good. <laughs> okay. Anyway, growing hair out is number three. <laughs> yes. You see this? You see these lame pigtails? Growing your hair out, it sucks. Like, if you cut it really short, and then the next day you're like, oh man, I wish I had my hair back. Well, it's been a year for me. Mine's peer pressure. If you have your, sh if you have your hair short, and you really, 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 really like it, don't listen to peer pressure. Girls. Girls should be able to have short hair without being lesbians. That's what I believe. They call they're lesbian. Many, many males. Seriously? I'm not a lesbian. Just letting you people out there know. Yeah, uh, we experienced this already. Right. Not a lesbian. Okay. The one, two, what is it? Four oh, three? same sex molestation. Oh. Speaking of lesbians. Yes. On the lesbian subject. Molestation is not good, especially when it's not same sex. Okay. If you are a girl and you were trying to molest another girl, that's kind of weird. Because I'm pretty sure there's plenty of men that would love it. Well, not just men, but I'm pretty sure there's plenty of lesbians and bisexual people out there that would love to have action right now. I don't understand why you have to, like, strap someone down and, like, attack them. What? <laughs> Sending a guy. Like, why would you wait for him to die? Not only would that be, like, kind of hard, but... Maybe they like it. I don't know. Maybe. It's weird. If you're a, a gay or a lesbian, don't walk the straight path. Try to, like, explain to us why you would bother to molest. Why? Someone. Why Even if you're straight. Even if you're straight, I want to know why you molest. Take, to go over their stalker thing yesterday. Why stalk? Why molest? Yes. It's awkward. <laughs> and not good. It's bad. Okay, another thing on our list. It's not like happy hours. Yes. Oh my goodness. When you're hot and tired and you've been walking all day and you realize that it's happy hour at Sonic, it just sounds extremely wonderful. Then you get distracted with something else and you're going to run some errands like Walmart. No, we, we went back to we today. We went back to. So if you didn't see our first video, go back, watch it. Walmart, we went again today. At Target. And by the time you realize that you are hot and thirsty, which you realized before, which you forgot, happy hour is 15 minutes over. But it's still good. Why can't they just give you half price drinks at 4.15? Seriously. I think, it's just, I think they should have like a 20 minute window. Oh, I and their eyes <laughs> don't choke. Just those little, little, tiny little ball things, and they get stuck in the This one back there chokes <laughs> on it, and when she sucks it through a straw. <laughs> so choking on ice is our last lame list subject. It's not fun. Don't do it. It's quite hilarious. I got a big ice cube stuck in my mouth, and it was horrible yesterday. This one last. Speaking of funny things, oh my goodness, we just got back from seeing a comedian. Oh, he's so funny. Check him out. His name is Guy Tori. G. Oh, here oh, yeah. Here you go. Guy Tori. Guy Tori. There you go. See, there's he, a picture uh, of him. Woo. We saw him today at. The freaking the hilarious. Yeah, he's oh really, 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 really funny. If you have heard of him, congratulations, because he's really funny, but we had never heard of him before, and apparently he's, like, kind of famous. He's been on, uh, Death Comedy Jam, 
Comedy Central, YouTube, uh, HBO, American History X, Pearl Harbor. Yeah, we don't know where he is in Pearl Harbor. Check it out, seriously. He's really cool. He's really, 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 really funny. Like, I'm pretty sure I laughed the whole time. Yes. If you don't like crude humor, don't watch it. You don't think it's funny. But if you do, it's freaking It's great. It's awesome. So anyways, that's the end of our vlog for today. Maybe someday she won't be doing anatomy homework and she can join us. No, anatomy is too important. Anatomy, I highly doubt it. Anatomy vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> Which is how it should be. Stay in school, be cool.